Ravana, the demon king in the epic Ramayan, realizing that his doom is imminent in the war with Lord Rama, sits pensive and brooding between his sword Chandrahasam on one side and celestial delicacies on the other. This last day of Ravana, imbued with unparalleled philosophic dimensions, was drawn by a four-year-old child named Edmund Thomas Clint. Clint had remarkable artistic integrity and the moral strength of a genius. With the same conviction and elan with which he drew three-headed dragons and a four-headed Hanuman, he could also decapitate the ten-headed Ravan and transform him into a single-headed one. While remaining deeply philosophical and steeped in intellectual rigour, Clint's art could nevertheless transform geometry into a thing of beauty. The perfect full circle that he drew when he was barely two stands testimony to the fluid grace of his art that bloomed on his fingertips. Distance, speed and proportion. He could map everything onto the contours of his canvas and enhance it with a flourish of his magic brush. David and Goliath, Samson confronting the lion, little Krishna feeding an eager Ganapadi, Lord Krishna revealing his cosmic form, the chivalrous soldier surging forward, wavered elephant herds and gambling kangaroos are all examples of his inimitable art. He had a deep understanding of the body language of birds and animals, herons, placid whales, keen vultures, ruminating owls, eager pelicans and majestic tigers all flocked his paintings, jostling for space and sneaking to us in strange tongues. In the 80s, when there were only ambassador and fiat cars on the Indian roads, little Clint drew the picture of a small car. It had an uncanny resemblance to a car that would ply the roads 30 years after, the Ritz. He started dabbling in colours by the age of five. His multi-hued, mesmerising palette of colours opened up a scintillating new world before us. Much before the arrival of television, before travel could shore up his wisdom and experiential knowledge of the world, he roamed the four walls of his small home, taking recompense in flights of fancy and imagination. And he created pictures that captured the quintessence of this land, its vibrant moods, its vivacious colours, its variant tones and tempos. Probably the most original of Kerala snapshots, they stand testimony to the beauty of this land and to an intransient art amidst transient lives. Edmund Thomas Clint, 1976 to 1983. More than 25,000 pictures in just 25, 22 days. <laughs>